see how just flex TV. You know, see them are watching a 4K and a 3D. You know it good, you know. Girl, I watch you like cinema. Watch you like cinema. Yes, yeah, so blessings, blessings, my people. Blessings to each and everyone. Just a check in of give you guys. Do make a nightly news roundup for December 26, 2022. First time over Just Black TV, press subscribe button, notification bell, all, so you never miss another update. I hope everybody enjoying the second day of Christmas so far. Just let the Almighty be praised because of him and Lincoln our days. I want to go world back where I go just kick start with a Negro man gone down at home on Christmas Day. A man was shot dead inside his red ground Negro house on Christmas Christmas Day, the disease has been identified as 34 year old Flyde Walters, otherwise called Braga. So, to get more on that, you can go over to the Jamaica Observer. Right, my people? So, Braga got shot and killed at his house on Christmas Day. So, you must know, say so the chink them. Them now no DRS. Yes, he may. No day, not even for holiday. So, moving on to where Linstead man slain while sitting in car on Christmas Day. Right, my people? So, the Jamaica Constabulary Force has confirmed that a man was shot dead in the Linstead police here on Christmas Day. He is a 30 year old chef Michael Lawrence, better known as Esco and Quinty, from Binlas District, Linstead. He was cut down about 8 30 pm in the community of Canal, located in the Banbury era of Linstead. His shooter escaped. The JCF said residents heard explosions and called the police. When they got there, Lawrence was found slumped over the steering wheel of a motor vehicle. He has several gunshot wounds. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. At least 26 people have been murdered in the Linstead police era since the start of the year. So the news team records have shown that is almost double the number of homicides recorded in the era last year. Right, my people? Yes, and this is in uh, St. Catherine. Moving over to where two men hospitalized following Anova bar fight. So two hotel workers sustained chop wounds during a fight at a bar in the community of rejoining Anova early this morning. Both men, a 42-year-old gardener and a 52-year-old tennis trainer, remain at the Noel Holmes Hospital in Lucy. The police say the incident happened around 1.15. It is reported that the two were at a bar in the community when a dispute developed between them. During the dispute, the gardener reportedly left the bar and later returned with a machete which he allegedly used to chop the other man. Right, my people? Yes, but the two men here yes, suffered chop wounds. You know, so trust me, it's serious. You say the body by two big man and the man they can't reason out nothing. Man, they lack of understanding. You know, we think the man they pray have just been, why? Why, 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 why? Trust me, star. But peeps, we just have to move on, you know, peeps. Yes, to wear a Glock 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 11 9mm rounds of ammunition was seized by the police in Old Penn District, Rumble, and over last night. The police report that about 11.30 p.m. a team was on mobile patrol in the area when the cops came upon a group of men at a bar. According to the police, the men ran and were chased. They say the firearm and ammunition fell from one of the men and was retrieved. The men escaped in the era. Right, my people? Just me style. Right now, no man don't want to get to in a 15 year at least. Moving on again, peeps. Yes, to where man got killed. Yes, in a place they call name Banbury in Linstead. Uh, Banbury in Linstead, right? At a cockfight. Right, my people, so this one is only identified as Escobar. Yes, my people, Escobar, whether you're there near or far, trust me, star. Boy, I hear me, peeps, Jamaica run ready, you know. Red, 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 every day, people just are dead. So, we just are going to move over now to our next update. Yes, we are Westmoreland rape suspect charge. So, a man has been arrested and charged with rape, abduction, and assault at common law following a December 19 incident involving a college student in Savannah Lamar, Westmoreland. Right, my people? Yes. So college girl, trust me, star, I walk alone and this man I feel like him have a little piece of chrome. 
But just listen up. So charges 36-year-old Kamal Jarrett of Chantilly Gardens, Savannah Lamar. He was charged on Friday after being positively identified by the students. Reports are that about 7.10 p.m. on Monday, December 19. The 19-year-old girl was walking along the roadway towards the White House bus park when a white Toyota tax, white Toyota Axia motor car drove up beside her. It is alleged that the driver rolled down his window, brandished a firearm and pointed it at her. Further reports are that the man ordered the young woman to get in the car. In fear of her life, she compelled. The suspect then reportedly took her to Chantilly Gardens in the parish where he allegedly raped her. Right, my people? Yes, yeah, so the man he pulled up in a one look white Toyota Axio. You know, and wind on him window and say, get in! And trust me, the girl fear for her life. So the girl just went and trust me, got raped. Moving on to where party goers urge to be careful over festive season. So party goers are being employed to exercise caution when attending events over the festive season. So speaking in an interview with JIS News, head of the Jamaica Constabulary Force Corporate Communications Unit, Senior Superintendent of Police, Stephanie Lindsay, said that if you know that there is gang conflict and other things happening in a space and you see at an event pop up, don't attend. Choose somewhere else to go. It's all in the interest of safety and security. Right? And to get more on that info, you can go over to the Jamaica Gleaner at Google. You sight my people, so just be careful where you go. Moving on again, peeps, to where vendors must be treated with respect, says Mayor. So stung by criticism of municipal police who were videoed smashing vending stalls in the downtown commercial district Kingston Mayor Delroy Williams emphasized with the archers on Sunday and insisted that they be treated with respect. So Williams speaking at a benevolent event for the city's homeless acknowledged that there have been challenges in striking a balance between street vending and the enforcement of public order regulations. Right my people? And to get more on that, you can also just run go over Jamaica Gleaner at Google. I just give you guys the main ingredients. Your sight, trust me, just come like nutrients. But peeps, yeah, we just hope the best we will look at Ireland, you know, because trust me, the man them are move vigilant. Moving on to where pay attention, Minister Tufton, so Cornwall, regional hospital work costing billions is endless. It isn't solving the bad air quality that triggered it. The money could build a new hospital. So what the health minister Christopher Tufton is presiding over is a humanitarian crisis in the public health sector that has been worsening for decades. So my keen observation has never detected greater presence of patients referred to as social cases than the very seriously sick ones who are just too many for the neglected infrastructure of the public health system over the years. I have had dialogue and supervising doctors and senior ward nurses in major public hospitals where I repeatedly witnessed reckless discharge of very sick patients by what seemed like a process of raffling lives. Right, my people, and this is from Christopher Tufton. Right, my people, yes, and trust me, Stai, why? Round the sun are going good at all. So we just move on to where Bolt, Fraser Price, host Christmas streets in hometown. The world fastest man, woman, Usain Bolt, Shelly and Fraser Price are both hosting their annual Christmas treats on Monday, December 26th. The internationally acclaimed athletes are currently in their respective hometowns of Sherwood Canton in Chilani and Waterhouse in Kingston to give back to the children in these areas. Right, my people, and to see the video and to get more on this update, you can just run, go straight over Jamaica Observer at Google. Your site, my people, yes, but this is a good look. If you know, say, you know, certain people, you know, I look back to their communities. If you know, say, right now, yeah, 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 so me go and we know the struggles of some kids, some parents, so me could just push out and do the best. Moving over to more sports news where Arsenal whip West Ham three goals to one. Right, my people? Yes, in the English Premier League. Yeah, that kickoff back. Trust me, star. You know, return. Yes, my people. And uh, right now, you hear me? Arsenal are going good. Yes, Arsenal are going good. Your sight. 
So right now, I check them with all, you know, drop local, lose that much about the man them, you know, a keep up star. A man you on my side still, you know, look a idiot side, but I love my side. Moving on now, peeps, to where breaking, breaking, Liverpool have reached an agreement with PSV to sign Cody Gakpo, right, my people? So Cody Gakpo, the Dutch national. You sight my people, I want to say Dutch. You don't know a Netherlands, some would say, some would say Holland. You sight, but this man here shows his class in World Cup. You know, trust me, star. But anyway, peeps, we now do no more long talking. Peace. You don't know the world measurements. You know, comment in the section below. Stay safe. Trust no one. You know, are we out without a doubt? East, West, North, and the South. Up top. Blessing. And them for no side, Jai Meds, representing for Just Blex. Just Blex tell them say prior words. When the heat ends, I try for you. Was he a dire hurt? The most I alert. If I'm them alone, them alone. Yeah, man, Just Blex, you don't know your success getting them upset, you know what I mean?